Ugh. Whew. What's up, y'all? This is Sukiana. And listen, I'm jumping off the porch with dirty glove bastards. Because listen, we all bastards up in this. Y'all know your dads? No. No, no, no. No, 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 they dads. I don't know mine either. I just seen mine in a picture with a producer. He told somebody he was my dad. I was like, where was you at? He was not my dad. The only daddy I got is Kill Bill. And he get a uh, Father's Day gift every Father's Day. Because I call him daddy. Yeah. No one's gonna love you the way I do. Nobody. All right. So we got Miss Suki with the good. With the good cat. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> yup. That's me right here. On the porch today, welcome to Off the Porch. We are so excited to have you here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know you just got to Atlanta. I know it's All-Star Weekend. So what do you plan on doing tonight? I mean, tonight, I just, I got a show tonight. You feel me? So tonight, I just feel like I'm just going to come out like how I do. My fans is here. And we finna have a good motherfucking time like we always do. The whole city support me, so yeah. I'm finna uh, put this good cat on the stage and do my thing like I always do. I know you put, oh, I can't say puss ass hoes, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. So what, what's another word for hoe? Whore. Whore? No, that's a cuss. Is that? Is yeah. That so what, what's a, oh, I can Just say, say hoe? Let it fly. Yeah. Um, I know you puss ass hoes is mad, but I can't help that, yeah. I'm in your city doing my thing. Mm. I know that's right and never wrong. Now, what age would you say you officially jumped off the porch? Mm. What does jumped off the porch really mean, Dad? Basically means when you was on your own, handling your business, just grown out there. I mean, I, I would say 16, 17, that's when I jumped off the porch. At 16, you know, I got my first pack, you know. I felt like I was a little drug dealer out in these streets. I got my first pack, and that's when I started making my little bit of money. 17, had my first kid. Baby daddy did a little bit. I used to get stamps and wig. Now look at me, bitch, I'm the shit. Now I'm famous, but look at me. That be why the hoes be made. Cause I keep the tricks guessing. Yeah. Now I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I thought you were from Florida, but I did do some research and saw that you were from Delaware. Yes, Wilmington. Yes, so what is it like up there? Wilmington, okay, so look, I was, my mom honestly is a Rolling Stone. Like we have moved all around. Wilmington, that's where I'm from, that's where I'm raised, that's where I'm born at. Wilmington is honestly, it's, it's hella ratchet. People be looking at me online and think I'm the most ratchetest thing they ever seen. I'm a product of my environment. It's a lot of people out in Wilmington who act just like me. We get down, we don't play with these hoes out here. I moved to North Carolina, Fayetteville, North Carolina. We lived out there a little bit. Then I moved to Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta since I was 12. After then, I moved to Florida, Miami and Fort Lauderdale. So I just, I'm just like a mixture. I done been everywhere. Everybody fuck with me. You feel me? It, I just don't even claim no one place because I done been everywhere. And my style of music, if you listen to my music, you gonna be like, yo, she sound like she from up north. But hold up, she, sometime when I listen to her voice, it sound like she got a down south accent. And that's cause I just, I'm a mutt. I done been everywhere. So everybody fuck with me, I fuck with everybody. Now, which state would you say you like the best? I know you say you fuck with all of them, but. Whew, which state I like the best? I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to say two. Definitely my hometown, cause they made, like my hometown made me thorough. Like I'm thorough as hell. And I would say my hometown in Lauderdale. Like that's where my nigga from. My nigga told me everything. He told me how to shoot. He told me how to get money. I, I'm going to say Lauderdale because when I come in Lauderdale, people know, you know, that's Suki. I fuck with Suki. I got a lot of support there. So def definitely Broad County. I got, I got to show love to Broad County and Women to Delaware, period. What would you say is the biggest obstacle you've had to go through growing up? Girl, what is an obstacle? I know that's right. What is that? <laughs> so basically, like, 
anything that you really had to overcome, like a hardship that you had to overcome? To be, where are you basically? It's not, it's not, but that's that's a trick question because I'm not the one who had the, the problem with the obstacles. It was these hoes. They didn't. They can't overcome me. That'd be the problem. I, I'm the threat. So it, it's not. It's I ain't had no obstacles. It's it's these hoes. They still can't take a bitch like me. Like I'm just, I'm just fly. I'm just up there. I'm like the dove that they they let out when people die. You feel me? They let out and fly. I'm that girl. Cause these bitches is dead when I come through. That 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 be the problem right there. And that's 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 what we in geometry. That's what we need to understand right there. That's the problem. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We need to go back to geometry and help these bitches understand that I'm that dove that fly because they did. Yeah, so that's the only obstacles that they got. I ain't got no obstacles. That's, ooh, I know that's right. I ain't got no obstacles. I don't even know what that means. Obstacles, baby, obstacles. What is that? That sounds like some type of shit, like people got to jump and climb and flip over. Uh-uh, I, I, I ain't jumping through no loops. I'm that girl. I wear heels. These bitches be jumping through loops trying to keep up with me. That's why they got their track sneaks on and still can't fuck with a bitch. That's that's the fucking problem. That's why they got their track sneaks on still can't fuck with a bitch. Obstacles. What is obstacles? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, what exactly transpired for you to go all in with music? I mean, honestly, a lot of people don't know that I grew up. I grew up in music. I went to a music school. My grandfather, my uncles, my mom, my aunties. I grew up in the church in a choir that's that's where my family come from so music is honestly that's just in my family and my mom was the one who taught me how to rap when i got my first mic i did my thing when i was six years old i used to rap in the hood in the projects and i used to make money from rapping from these old heads i say you know what let me freestyle give me a dollar i've been getting money since i was the g so that's how this happened and then i decided to start to take taking it serious i said Fuck all y'all hoes. Y'all bitches don't want to chase y'all dreams. I'm going to chase mine. And when I was in the hood, they used to say, you know what? They used to say I was weird because I had dreams. A lot of people where I'm from, they don't believe in that. It's like, if you got a dream, you weird. Or you think you finna be a rapper or you think you finna be famous. That doesn't exist where I'm come from. Like, none of that exists. I'm the only one who said I'm going to do this and I'm going to make it big and I'm going to do my thing. And I did that. And when I cut all these fuck niggas off, God put me in position to make it big, do right for my family, do right for my kids, and put all my friends on. All my friends is opening hair salons, they doing their thing, they starting wax companies, they starting hair companies. That's the type of woman that I am. So when I, I feel like everybody got a purpose. My purpose was to be who I am, to make sure everybody else got opportunities, everybody else in my circle, everybody winning. That'd be the problem with these hoes. That'd be the problem with these hoes though. They don't, they don't support each other. Everybody you see me with, they get money. I got bitches who sell platters, cook real good, fight real good. You feel me? I got bitches who do my hair, got mad clients making their money. So you feel me? I feel like when I started taking my situation serious, everybody around me started flourishing. All them fuck niggas who didn't believe in me, didn't want to listen to my music, you know, even the, the guys that I was dating, they didn't want to re listen to my raps that I had. You feel me? All them, they already knew I had potential. They already knew I was a star. They cut off. As soon as I cut them ties, boom, look at me. So sometimes, this is what I want to tell you. Sometimes God got a blessing for you that you cannot get until you cut them fuck niggas off because they don't deserve that blessing. They can't win with you. They can't come in that chapter for that success that you got because they don't deserve it. They karma, that's why they back there. Period. Now, even observing you right here and just your social media, to me, you are considered a force to be reckoned with. Like the attitude, the confidence, you are just that bitch. Yeah. No matter what, and no matter if the media is saying something else, you just carry that energy. Like, you can't tell me what the fuck to yeah, do. Yeah, they're not going to tell me nothing. I'm going to post what I want. Yeah. Where does that mentality come from? I mean, I always knew I was that girl. I always knew I was that girl. I always knew I was that girl. Listen, the crazy part is, even in high school and elementary, middle school, listen, I ain't never fit in with these hoes. I never did. I wanted to. I tried to. It didn't never work out. I never sat at the cool table with these hoes. I never got to hang out with these hoes. I ain't go to their sleepovers. I ain't go to their little house parties. That wasn't me. They didn't invite me. And sometimes, this is what I, this is what I really want to let y'all know. Sometimes you're not invited because they don't want you still all the attention, baby. Listen, it ain't all about fitting in. 
Be yourself. I'm myself. I don't fit in. I stand out. When I come in the room, I try to fit in with y'all hoes. Y'all hoes, y'all, y'all pussy stink. Y'all don't need, listen, y'all hoes, y'all, y'all, listen, y'all, y'all put deodorant on y'all coochie. I don't even respect bitches like that. So this is what I'm telling y'all. I never fit in with y'all hoes. I don't even, I don't even want to no more. I stand out. When I come in the room, I'm the elephant in the room. And that'd be the problem. That's why I wasn't invited to y'all fuck ass sleepovers. Because y'all knew y'all niggas want to fuck a trill bitch like me. That was the problem with these hoes. Yeah. Well, as a black woman in the industry, what do you feel like doesn't get talked about enough? What y'all feel like? What don't get talked about enough? No, I don't, even, I don't even feel like that no more. I mean, back in the day when we didn't have a voice, back in slavery times when we couldn't vote, that was then. Now the industry is dominated with women. Not even just the industry, business. A lot of women now are skyrocket high for entrepreneurs and being successful. You feel me? A lot of women, we are winning right now. This is a time for us. It was a time when we couldn't even vote. So niggas know they gotta respect, they gotta respect the queens. That's just what it is. They want features with us. They wanna be a part of our business you propositions. Like women is really winning right now. But listen, I ain't trying to do all this go, you know, educated shit. A bitch trying to talk about some hood shit. You wanna talk about yeah, we, you I wanna get crazy, you women. wanna get crazy, yeah, you wanna get shit. crazy. Okay, okay. So I saw a video of you a while back talking about women who give it up for free, have no morals. And I really want you to elaborate on that topic. Okay, so I know y'all seen that video and this is what I wanna say. When I said, cause this, I was responding to these hoes. Cause these, you know, these superficial, so classy, moral having bitches be liking to talk down on other women, talking about, you know, a bitch don't got no self-respect because she put a price or put a tax on herself and taxing these niggas and not, not out here fucking niggas for free. I feel like, baby girl, you ain't got no respect because you fucking Mark 12 and he ain't even helping you pay that rent. You let him come through every night and beat and he not helping you with nothing. That's no self-respect, baby girl. Ain't nobody gonna love you till you love yourself. You gotta teach these niggas how to love you. I don't respect that. Like, how you gonna be mad at another bitch hustle? Like, don't even speak on no other hoe. Whatever another hoe do, that ain't got nothing to do with you. You work on yourself. You feel me? You feel like a man ain't treating you right. That ain't got nothing to do with Kiki. Kiki out here taxing him because she know they ain't shit. So I feel like, what is self-respect? I feel like self-respect is keeping your head high Walking with your head high, getting your money, not letting nobody take advantage of you. Because that same guy that you with is asking you to sit on the phone with him, to be his company. He asks you for pussy and head. Oh, he in your house all the time. He eating all your food and your fruit snacks, your baby fruit snacks. And he ain't helping you with nothing. Baby girl, that ain't self-respect right there. You know what self-respect is? It's knowing your worth. Baby girl, if you feel like you got requirements and you want him to check up on you. You want him to call you, you want him to text, you want him to make sure you okay. You want him to make sure your bills is all right if you give him all your time. That's self-respect. I don't, I don't respect that. Like, what, what are you talking about? You mad cause, like, I don't give a fuck what bitches do. I respect everybody hustle. I don't care if you sell drugs. I don't care if you pop pussy. I don't care if you prostitute. Whatever your hustle is, that's your hustle. But it be these hoes over here judging them but they ain't even happy with the niggas that they fucking with. I don't respect that. Like, you, you know you want that man to call you and make sure you okay. You know you want him to do that. You know you want a little bit of money on that bill. You know you want your phone bill paid. But you don't know how to get it from him. So you mad at her because she know how to get it. That I don't respect that. Put a tax on yourself. Stop giving your body for free. I don't give a fuck. You, you want to say, oh, yeah, but pussy ain't cost no price. But baby girl, you getting every, giving everything that you got away and you walking home with nothing, but a, 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 a not even a missed phone call because you don't want calling him and he ain't answering. Yeah, I don't respect you hoes. I don't respect no hating ass so I, get, I, I let everybody do their thing. I don't be worrying about what nobody else do. But listen, I said what I said. These bitches can't fuck with me. That's, that's the problem. They can't fuck with me. They worry about self-respect. Bitch, where your self-respect at? Now, I do want to talk about motherhood with you because I'm a mom 
And so I know that motherhood is a chaotic blessing. Um, how are you able to balance being a mom and then balance everything that's going on with you from your career to the entertainment industry? Well, first off, I feel like women are able to do everything. So I had my first baby at 17. I done did that and been there, done did everything these hoes done did. You feel me? A career ain't nothing. Like, we, we're very strong. We're the ones who go through labor, who have to push these babies out. These men don't go through that. So, it, I mean, it's just, it's second hand. Like, I'm going to do it. Ain't nobody going to tell me that I can't do it. I mean, if I, have, if I choose to have children, I'm going to be able to take care of these kids and be a successful woman. A lot of people tell women that we can't be successful if we're a mother. And that's not true because I'm doing it. I'm rich as hell. I did that with multiple kids. So anybody can do it. If you if you got a dream, chase your dreams. Don't let no nigga tell you you can't do it. Don't let nobody tell you that you a statistic or you can't be a successful woman because you have children. You can be a mother and a successful woman, period. No, I love that so much because I feel like when you have a kid, like they only, they only center moms around motherhood. So it's like when you want to do something for yourself, it's where's your kid at or where's this? Yeah, where's a lot that? of people say that, but it'd be, it'd be a lot of, it be haters. People, it be a lot of broke ass hoes too. Like they, it, they problem is they don't understand the whole money routine. They don't understand how to get no money. So they, they just always mad when they see a mother doing it. That's cause we, we, we can do anything that we want as women. Like stop hating and get on your grind. These hoes don't even be having kids. You hating on a woman who birthed children, who chasing her dreams. Like, girl, you, you, you's a loser. Like, get on your game. Work harder. That's it. Work harder. That's all I'm going to tell them. Work harder. Now, let's get into OnlyFans. So, at first, when it first came out, it was a lot of negativity surrounding it. But you turned it the hell up, opened up your own shop, like, made the bank. So, what is the secret to making a good amount on OnlyFans? I mean, OnlyFans... Hmm. I think it's all about personality. Like with my career is, is 90% of my personality. People fuck with me. Women, men, everybody fuck with me. I really can't tell y'all the sauce. I'm going to make y'all pay for it. So make sure y'all at my seminar. But listen, it's all about what's in you. You feel me? I ain't telling you, you got to go in there and show some pussy and some ass. If you, if you a true bitch, you can go in there and talk. Make these niggas pay for you to tell them something. What you got to tell that people don't know? What you did that people can't do? Tell them. Charge them. I don't care if you charge them $5, $10, $20. I charge $20 for a video, made 100000 off that video. So, I mean, shit, I'm, a, I'm just a baller. Like, it ain't, I don't, any situation that I'm in, I'm make money. I done started my OnlyFans, made a million dollars, bought a Bentley and a Ferrari. Bitches can't fuck with me. You can't tell me I'm a dumb hoe. Ain't nothing dumb about me. So... I mean, it's, it's just, it's, I think it's just in you. If you know how to get that money, especially during this pan, pandemic, what's it called, a pandemic? A pandemic? <laughs> you can call it a pandemic. Bandemic. Especially during this pandemic. Listen, if this pandemic ain't make you get on your hustle, it just ain't in you. Because, listen, I'm sitting with a lot of mothers and a lot of good women who got that money th during this pandemic. Get your fucking coin. Don't let nobody stop you, whether it's OnlyFans, whether you got to cook food, whether you got to do some hair, whether you got to dance, do your thing and get your coins. Fuck OnlyFans, that ain't the only way to get no money. I get money 12 different ways. The fuck? Girl, I listen, I got a whole boutique. I sell hair. Bitch, I babysit. Mike got perks on deck, depends on who won them, fives or tens. Listen, I do a lot of shit. I get a lot of money. I don't let nobody stop my hustle. Now, when I was watching Love and Hip Hop, I remember you saying that you used to box back in the day. Yeah. And it just so happened that you're, you currently want to get in the ring for 30K. Yeah. What's the situation behind that? I mean, they said I can't. They said I can't talk about it. Right. <laughs> Him back there. It's cool, it's cool. But we can backtrack to the OnlyFans because I did have one more question with that. What would you say are some misconceptions with OnlyFans? Misconceptions? I don't even think it's a misconception. I just think hoes be mad. 
Like, girl, listen, you out here fucking and sucking for free, and you judging a woman who's selling some pictures? They, she ain't even getting fucked. These hoes only fans is rich as hell. Let me tell y'all something. You mad because you out there showing that coochie for free and she charging to see a picture. Niggas can't even fuck her. Niggas can't even fuck me. That, that be the problem. How you mad at me, sis? Is who the dumb one? Because you, you can't fuck for free. Baby, I made a million dollars a couple months during a, during a pandemic, during the coronavirus. I ain't even leave my house yet. This the first time I'm leaving my house to come and go off the porch. So who dumb? That, that be the problem, bitches. Come on, sis. That be the problem. The OnlyFans thing, like how y'all hating on what other hoes do? She twerking on OnlyFans, making her coins so her kids can eat. Putting a roof over her kids' head. She doing what she gotta do. And she cooking for niggas and selling platters too. And you mad at her. She selling bundles, wigs, and you mad because you ain't getting no fucking money. It ain't about OnlyFans. That, that be the problem. They not mad at the hustle. They mad because they ain't got no hustle. So that be the problem. I feel like that's the misconception. These hoes is misconcepted. They need to get their fucking noggin, they noodle. They need to get their noodle in line so that they can get some fucking money. Stop hating on what other women is doing. Let women do their thing. It's Women History Month. You know that? Yes, ma'am. I should It's do. Women History Month. How, listen, Jay-Z said, don't worry. He said, don't knock the way that he eating. Don't knock it. Just worry about yourself and get your fucking money. Get up off your ass. Get up off that fucking porch. That'd be the fucking problem. You sitting on a porch too long. Get up off that fucking porch. Go, go cut some grass or something for you hate on another bitch. That's the misconception. <laughs> the fuck? With your music, like, it's, the, it's just the energy for me. So I know your studio sessions be lit. What does a Sukiyana studio session look like? I mean, a Sukiyana studio session is going to look a little darker than it's from. I like my lights low, you know. Got my little bottles, you know. Preferably douce. Might be a little Patron. And I need some good vibes and I just go in and I just say how I'm feeling. If I'm sad, if I'm going through a heartbreak, if I'm in love, if I'm if I got some drama, if I got some beef, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to say how I feel. And I like to make good music. I like to work with good producers. I work with a good team of people. We go in there, we make hits. That's what bitches don't know about me. That's why they need to do their research. You listen to my music, ain't no misses. Straight bars, straight flow, straight metaphors. I love music. That's what I grew up in. Period. Now, your, your recent track, No One. Yeah. How did that song come about for you? No One? Hmm. I wrote No One about my man. You know, I felt this trill ass nigga <laughs> in Lauderdale. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck all that. I'm gonna get in this booth and I'm gonna sing about him. And we made an awesome track, like an awesome song that's doing numbers. It just hit a million views on YouTube. You know, a lot of people showing love with this music. So I'm really happy. I'm really proud about that song because I got to show people a versatile. You know, I'm not just no city girl. You know, I go, I'm very versatile. I go through things just like everybody else go through things. You know, I go through heartbreaks just like you do. I fall in love just like you do. I'm still a woman. So that song right there is very dear to me. And I'm just, I'm really happy about the success that it's reaching right now. You also dropped the visual for it, which I got to watch. I thought it was bomb. And I saw you and Bay. Mm -hmm. you and Bay. <laughs> yeah, period. Now, how did you guys come up with the concept for the visual? I mean, I wanted to, to I talked to the, the director and I really wanted to be a Miami vibe. I wanted to show a lot of truth in my life and my relationship. So who is doing that? Like, is that crazy? Is that in my interview? They really no, they keep beeping the horn. Like, what the fuck wrong with them? All right, so um, yeah, with my, with my video, you know, I wanted to show a lot of truth. You know, I got that hood love, that good love. You feel me? So we did it, we shot it in Miami. And it was just everything. I put my fiance in the, in the music video and we did our motherfucking thing. She, I love my motherfucking man. That's be the problem with these hoes. They scared to say that they love a nigga. Baby, I love mine. Yeah, can't no nigga come between my nigga. Yeah, what Shaka Khan said, she said she was gonna climb through the river and the mountains. What she said? 
through the fire, through the, the river, <laughs> and, and through the what? Through the wall? Yeah, that's that's how I am about my man. I love my man. Yeah, can't no nigga come between. And let me tell you, the crazy part is, I ain't even had no orgasm until I met him. I ain't, I ain't experienced one till I met my man. I ain't never even have an orgasm. I spent all my life faking orgasms for these fuck niggas. And I just finally had one. I just, I never even been in love before. And I just fell in love and I'm so happy. I got a trill ass niggas with them racks. Yeah, he got them racks. I got a trill ass nigga with them racks. So I'm very much in love. You know, I don't really know. I can't even remember none of my ex's names. That, that'd be the problem. I don't even know who I dealt with before because once he introduced me to real, baby, I don't want no lame. Yeah, so. It's like, do they even matter? At this no, they point? don't. And that's why I got his name tatted right here. Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Yeah, because he uh, going out in these streets. Mm -hmm. You also have a t girl. You are. <laughs> Period. Tell him, Quayle. Don't I love Kill Bill? Yeah. I love my man, Mel. Don't I love my man? I love my man. That's why he put a ring, a big old rock on his finger, ho. Yeah. Pussy ass niggas could never do that. I was never going to accept no ring from you fuck niggas. I love my man. I shoot by my man and I lie by my man. Period. You also have a song. I, I don't want to mispronounce her name, but I think it's Mooney Long. Oh, Mo Money. Money Long. Money Long. Ooh, I'm sorry, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you recently released a single with Money Long yeah. called Thought, Thought, Thoughts. Yeah. Thought, How did thought. that song come about? Um. Okay, so... I mean, I really love her. She's a great singer and she's actually a great writer. A lot of people might not know, but that girl is very much talented. And when I heard her voice, I said, you know what? We gonna do this song. And I, I really love her. She's a beautiful girl. Very, very talented. Wrote, wrote music for a lot of people. So we got in the studio, we did that song. And I, I, I really love this song. It's a good song. I think everybody should go and check out that song. It is in like the smooth wave that it's, you on right now. I'm I'm feeling that. Yeah, it was a smooth low vibe. It's something that you can vibe to, you know. Once your nigga pick you up, poop poop, play that so you know what's up. Mm hmm Now we have thought thoughts and we also have no one. So what upcoming projects can we expect from you this year? So you can expect me and Santana and me and Hood Celebrity. And I'm really excited about working with them too. Me and Santana got something that's coming out ASAP. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the visuals. And one thing about Santana, that's my sis. That's my family. That's, that's somebody who's very dear to me. That's my friend. So I'm excited to finally put out a project with somebody that I consider my family, you know? So yeah. What is something that you really want to do this year? Kind of like a bucket list thing. I don't know. What y'all think? What is it? Pop pussy. Hold on. Let me pull these, pull these pants up. Oh, shit. Oh, something that I want to do. <sighs> you know what? What, is that a trick question? What do I want to do? What do I want to do that we ain't already did? You know we don't ran I, through. No, we don't ran through these niggas. That ain't something we want to do. We we don't ran through these banks. That ain't something that I want to do. We we've been getting money. What's something that we want to do? What do we want to do? Cause we done did everything. We done we get money. We started our own businesses. We all entrepreneurs. What do we want to do? Huh? What we want to do? Go what? Pop a Molly. I don't wanna pop no Molly. <laughs> what you say? He only we done did everything. How about, can we can we get a talk show? Can we get a Sukihana oh, talk oh, show? Oh, so you talking about what my far as like, my career. Talk show. A, a Sukihana talk show. Um I don't know about a talk show, but guess what? I am about to get married. And you know what? I'm thinking about maybe airing my my wedding yes i might live stream my wedding or i might put it on um you know tv i might do that that's something that i might want to do but other than that it's about what these hoes want to do that they can't do yet because i done did everything they probably want to compete with a bitch like me or, or 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 even keep up with a bitch like me that they can't do that's something that they can't do but i done did everything it ain't nothing that i can't do yeah 
<laughs> now, before we wrap up the interview, what advice would you give to someone who's struggling to find their inner sex? Girl, you, let me tell you something. You are so classy. I'm very now, I classy. came in here to cut up. <laughs> I really came in here to cut up. This is this was a, we ain't talk about no hood shit, did Girl, we? Girl, I am so. Now y'all know I was ready to turn up. I said I'm finna so get classy, y'all. Like, can I we have, get some more questions? Like, can we get some hood questions, please, y'all? Just some some hood questions. Yeah, some suki questions. Cause okay, I, you know what? I don't want to be. You know what? This is your porch. So anything that you want to address, do y'all got any questions about? in the crowd that y'all? Because I I need to give them my personality, and I really could. You know? I think you. I think no, you, I didn't. Because then now all all I know is that I'm finna be really? going viral. No, but I'm finna be going viral about the same shit when I said puss assholes need to tax niggas. Now I'm finna go viral for that, and that's gonna take off my whole interview. <laughs> do anybody got some questions that we can just get that out the fucking way? Because they finna take eat that up. I'm finna Ooh, be on the shade room at Hollywood on lock. Girl, you got you gonna make me hop in the bag. Can we just write some down? Cause that's finna take off my whole thing. That's finna be on every <laughs> blog because of that. So what's your typical day in Broward County? Like, what do you do? Girl, now you being messy. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, that's a good one. What do you do in Broward County? Hold up, like? hold, because you being messy. Why would you say that? Tina, girl, what's our typical day in Broward County? What's our typical day? <laughs> Listen, our typical day in Broward County, that's where I live. We get money all day. We trying to get some money. We trying to figure out, bitch, I'm, from, I'm trying to sell this wig. Listen, my sis trying to sell them platters. My sis trying to do them waxes. We all we do is get money. Then when it comes to the weekend, I call everybody up, tell them come come on that block, and we out there jugging back. We out there playing some loud music, block party, Hennessy, we shit. Somebody might got some pills. I don't know, but listen, we out there having a good time. Lex, turning up. Listen. No, we don't be, you know, you fucking lie. You know you a motherfucking lie. We don't do oh that. Oh, my God. Okay, so since uh -uh. I am classy. Yeah, you are so classy, and I like it, because that's your personality, and you are who you are. Thank you. So how do I, like, loosen up? Like, Why you want to loosen up? I mean, you know. You don't need to loosen up. I don't know. Uh-uh, you don't need to loosen up. You be yourself. You, <laughs> I, I respect classy women. Long as you, no, long as you're not classy for everybody else. If that's who you are, that's who you are. But as long as you loosen up for your man, have fun with your man. Make sure, listen, what's some ways that we can loosen up for these niggas? Like, let me tell y'all something. Listen, suck some dick. This is, this is the rules that I'm finna give y'all. Rule number one, listen, if you love your man, suck some dick. Stop being scared. Slurp on that motherfucker. Lick the balls, bitch. Lick the ass at time. From time to time. You feel me? Have a little fun. Role play. Listen. Uh, listen, do, did y'all ever role play before? Because sometimes I dress up like a cop or a pig. I got this little pig outfit. Y'all gonna do that? See, see that's the problem. See, they the problem too. You can't just throw that you got a pig outfit. No, I, I need do. To, what does the pig outfit look I like? I want to, because, listen, because people used to say that I look like a pig in school because of my nose. And I really take pride in that. I'm like, okay, if I'm a pig, I'm Miss Piggy. I wear Prada. But listen, I went to the Party City store, me and my man, we went and found costumes. I found him an inmate costume. And he found me a pig costume, so I got like a little pig tail and a little pink um, tutu. But anyway, his inmate costume, I, I just, you know, I just be attracted to hood niggas, you know. But my grandma was a, uh, was a, um, a CO for 14 years, and I watched my grandma do a lot for the inmates. She made sure people were straight, so my grandma got a lot of respect in my hood. And from Delaware, she got a lot of people who respect her because she made sure people were straight. She was a CO for 14 years. And I feel like that's why I got a soft spot for hood niggas. Because when Bill, me and Bill first started talking, listen, he got locked up right away. I was like, no, I ain't finna, I ain't finna hold you down during this beat. But then I was just like, you know what? I fuck with you. I'm gonna make sure I answer them phone calls. I'm gonna make sure I be there for you. And listen, that motherfucker used to blow up my phone. $2,000 in, in, in phone calls. And I was like, uh-uh, hell nah. But guess what? When he came home, he got on his feet. He made sure I'm straight. He take me shopping all the time. That nigga love me. Let him know. Dewey, Dewey, Dewey. That motherfucking nigga don't play by me. But it's because of my grandma. My grandma showed me how to hold a nigga down and be there for a nigga, even when a nigga can't be there for me. 
And I feel like that's my vulnerable. That's that's me showing that I'm vulnerable. I show a lot of people that I, I got a vulnerable side too. So whatever the question was, I don't even remember. But that's why I'm was on the, the pig costume. Okay, the pig costume. So yeah, I got this little pig suit. You feel me? Oink. Ah, cause this pussy. <laughs> Listen, my nigga made this pussy oink. Yeah, it's chubby. But yeah, so I got my little costume. Sometimes I role play. Sometimes I act like I don't know a nigga. We be in the house like, where you from? Oh yeah. I'm from Tallahassee. Oh, you from Tallahassee? Mm. You got ass on you. I be like, yeah, daddy, why you want some? He be like, mm-hmm. I be like, where that's where them bins at? He go upstairs and get them racks. Throw them on a bitch. Like a bitch don't even know his ass. That's what me and my nigga do. And see, that's what you do that with your nigga. Oh, but let me tell you what else. If you got a nigga who got you fucked up, yeah, you love him. Go ahead, go to his house, give him some pussy, suck that dick, put your put your shit on, and get up out that bitch and leave. Don't even call his ass. Kelly, tell him, tell him I ain't lying. <laughs> Fuck, let me, let me tell you something. He got you fucked up, he ain't acting right? Okay, go give him some pussy. Ride that dick real motherfucking good. I don't give a fuck if you say, yeah, how on that motherfucker. Have him feel like you, oh, you unpredictable. Get on that dick, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. Suck that dick, lick them balls, put your shit on and get the fuck on. Don't even call his ass for three motherfucking days. Don't even answer back. I bet you that nigga call you and tell you you pregnant. Mm -hmm. He gonna get in your area. That's some tea. I'm giving you all the tea right there. That's something. Keep that with you. He got you fucked up. Go ahead. Give him some pussy and leave his ass. Put your shit on. Like, bitch, you got something to do. Like, bitch, you, you finna go file your taxes. Like, you know, I don't, listen, I gotta go handle business. Put your shit on. Have your Uber outside. Get in that Uber and leave. I bet you his motherfucking ass be calling you. And he gonna say everything. What you need a bill paid? You all right? You ate? All that. Am I lying? Put that shit on and leave on that fuck nigga. <laughs> Kelly, tell him. You a nigga, tell him. What you gonna do? <laughs> what y'all gonna do? What yeah. you gonna do? Yeah, we now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it seems like you got the game down packed and you need to write a handbook for the girls. Yeah, but the the thing is I already I really wanted I really wanna write a handbook, but I got a seminar coming up with the Claremont twins. Ooh. Yeah, so we got a seminar that I'm, that's coming up, and we gonna, we gonna go ahead and give y'all the game, and y'all take it in, and after that, you know, I might give y'all a little bookie book, but yeah, I'm gonna teach y'all how to flip the script on these niggas, because it be too sad how y'all hoes be getting played. Don't never let no nigga play you. After you get played, it's okay to get played a couple times, but after a couple times, you learn, and it's time to flip the script. The script on these, you know, you know what I'm saying. I get it. Don't don't at, let nobody. At a certain point, it's it's your fault. Yeah, like, you, you you know, know the know game. Better. You feel me? You yeah. know how these niggas do. Don't let them play you. You ain't gotta get played. They'll treat you the right way if you teach them how to treat you. You feel me? If you teach these niggas how to treat you, they gonna treat you the right way. Because let me tell you something. These hoes that ain't got no requirements, they get treated how they get treated. You gotta teach them because they they dogs. They little puppies. You gotta teach them how to treat you. You have to teach everybody how to treat you. If they don't respect you, you make them respect you. That's with anybody. The fuck? I ain't finna let nobody play me. Oh yeah. Hell and no. I think our next interview is here. Is Drake here? Oh, okay. Well, Suki, Sukiana, this is your floor. Like, you got it. Oh, I got it. Okay, you so what else? What's another question? Cause I wanna make sure my shit is good. <laughs> Cause listen, we, we got a lot Okay, of so I've heard this and I just wanna, Okay, so is it true that Can you I see how I look right quick though? Let me just let me just yes. make sure cuz I don't want to I ain't trying to be online. They talking about uh-uh, bitch. No, you look bad. Oh, let me show this. Let me show a little coochie. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so is it true that you are not supposed to date a man that you like more than he likes you? Like, I think that's true. I think that's very much true. Listen, don't even put no time in nobody who don't like you as much as you like yourself or love you as much as you love yourself. You finna be wasting your time, girl. He going hit and miss. I feel like that's true. We all done been in that situation. That's the thing. Like, bitches be wanting to act like they too good and don't want to give women a game. Listen, if he don't treat you like how you treat yourself, you fucking with the wrong nigga. Cut his ass off. It ain't never too late. Cut his ass off. So that's that's a dub. That's a now. 
Uh uh. You you fuck with people who treat you how you want to be treated, not how they how they think you deserve to be treated. Hell nah. Mm mm. I don't like that. I don't like y'all hoes. Y'all so calm. Like that's so sad. Do y'all with the bottle? Who told y'all to be so quiet, Kelly? <laughs> Kelly, go ahead with Did that. Did y'all want to get on the porch? Yeah, like Did come wanna, on. That's just so. <laughs> who just want to get on the porch with me? Please, come on, y'all. Cause that is so crazy, Kelly. You sitting there telling them that. You sitting there telling them that when I'm trying to have a lit ass. I came all the way down to a lit. Y'all, y'all can go ahead and get on the porch. Come on, y'all. Yeah, but they wasn't even talking though. Message. We trying to hit the big one with this. Come on, Snaz always a Koyla girl. That's sad. Tina girl, come Ooh, on. Oh y'all, it's a There's whole some... lot of ass on the porch. Yeah, I got like, some. Yeah, lot my, my house is it's big a bone. Lot of ass on yeah, the we porch. some big bone girls. We big bone. Like, we body, heavyweight. We body, heavy. body, 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 body. Yeah, no, no, no. Cook. All right, go ahead. Put them down a little bit. They, they don't see them. They don't see them toes. But let me tell you something. We, we big bone girls. Go ahead and introduce. We, we got the ladies on the porch. Okay. Well, right now we got Mo Money. This Mo Money right here. My, my my bitch done did it big, but she here now. I'm here. Yeah, right. and she ain't she ain't gonna play about me. Here. At all. This one, <laughs> this one, Tina. They call her <laughs> Big Bush. Big Bush right here. She ain't gonna play about me either. My bitch get money. She do hair and she sell motherfucking food. Thank you. Okay, cook real good. That be that be the problem with y'all. Y'all can't fuck with an OG like this. That she been whooping, oh, yeah, she been whooping bitches asses, multiple bitches at one time, and she beat niggas up. She choked Bill out one time. <laughs> <laughs> she choked oh, my man out one time. Listen, you I need know, friends get, like that. Though. Yeah, you we need. need friends like that. But we all love Bill. We love oh. Bill. This right here, Lex, my sis. She danced her motherfucking ass off. So, listen, y'all, if y'all had some music, she would turn up right now. This my girl. I love her to death. And my other friends, they don't want to get up here because they so shy. They get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> Kelly, that's my role manager. He, let me just be quiet about him. He <laughs> the yeah, so <laughs> how do y'all deal with y'all's a crazy friend right here? Because with me, how y'all deal with me? She's fun in love with I'm yeah, fun and lovable, love bitch. Stop it's lying. Like stop it. lying. Tell him. Tell him. No, you have to love you. Yeah, you. Like, to know her is to love very her. Very down to earth. I'm very down to earth. Okay, y'all. Suki, you can't participate in this. All right, let me be quiet. Well, y'all bitches said it right. A, tell them how I really am. Don't be trying all that what's lovable shit. What's one crazy Suki on the moment that y'all can oh. encounter? Oh, shit. Oh, she. Go. All right. Oh, she might go. All right, let's start with Mel. Which one? Oh, let me see. I got a couple. Girl, you ain't got it's no like, couple. It's like, oh, it's like when we all be together, she'll just look, but thank her booty. And she oh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Bitch, don't do it. Grip that oh. motherfucker. That's what oh. I be teaching them, how to grip that oh dick. Squeeze like, the motherfucking cheeks like together. She do it when we out in public. Like, she do it out of the right, you know what? Let's just get, let's get to Tina. Yeah. Girl, let them know how I'm coming. How do I go? Beating Bill ass. <laughs> <laughs> Beating my fiance ass. Oh. We're not gonna talk about yeah, we're not gonna talk. I love He's my man. Gonna he gonna choke our asses yeah, up. <laughs> oh, do we don't got no? Yeah, he is. All right, we don't got no crazy moments with Suki. Not yet. No. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Once you okay. get on the Patron. Oh, oh when I get on that Patron. She on that already. I'm all <laughs> I'm loose as an old bitch, but guess what? This pussy tight, though. I be loose up here, but this pussy is, uh, uh, it ain't loose. Y'all hoes is loose. <laughs> that be the problem. <laughs> is y'all? Like, nah. Oh. Nah, because <laughs> nah, you got to put me up on game. You Ooh. Know Girl, can we can, one, Yeah, she is a quiet one, but guess what? You Stop turn me. on. Where you at? Give me my orange she, juice. I'm ready. I, I, I Girl, yes, you do. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. But I love when she goes to sleep over with our daughter. So. Oh, yes. yeah, that's cute. I'm I really that. into, I love children. I, I'm the one who has the fun house. I bring the kids all over. And Snaz don't, Snaz be, she always like that. She don't want to come up here. Do you? I know. But Snaz know how I get down. I'm, I'm, I'm that girl. I love women. I love people. I'm very generous. I'm very giving. I love my friends. I win. We all win. That's mm -hmm. the type of woman That's that true. I am. That's and true. even though I'm a ratchet ass hoe, 
I don't know what ADHD. You know what? Shut your ass up. <laughs> Even though I'm a ratchet asshole, I really celebrate woman empowerment. I love women. We all going to win. She's a member supporter. Yeah, I'm very supportive. Yeah. But when these hoes be having me fucked up, I don't play I don't play with no pussy ass hoe. We can get out on the streets and uh, knuckle up. You feel me? When won't we? <laughs> Period. You need, you need friends be. like that. Like, <laughs> you need friends like yeah, that. Yeah, I got. I have a good team around me. Solid ass woman. These is the women who come out with me all the time. The rest of them, they don't want to come up here right now. But I got solid ass women. I got a solid ass bodyguard dance. He don't play about me. He go viral all the time. He listen, mm-hmm. listen. He don't even use the bathroom. He go in there and change. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even use the bathroom. He go in the bathroom and sh- shit. Wipe his guns off. That's all he do. Kelly, my road manager, Miami Tip Drill. She's very, very legendary in Miami. That's one of my road managers too. A lot of people don't know that, but you know who Tip Drill is? Oh, she that girl. She's very legendary in Miami. You gotta do your research on her and have her come in for an interview. Yeah, but yeah, this is my family. Ooh, a bunch of good pussy hoes. Yeah, I know you hoes is mad that I'm winning. <laughs> now, before we wrap up, do you have any shout outs? Shout outs? Yes. Kelly, who would I shout out? It's your boy, V. <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead and get in the camera. Tell him. <laughs> go ahead and get in the camera. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, if I had a shout out, I would say I would shout out God. I love God. I'm very thankful for him for putting me in position. I always used to pray. I always used to tell him. Father God, please put me in position and give me the opportunity, and I'm gonna do the rest. That's all I ask for is the opportunity. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, all I need is the tools, and I'm gonna do the rest. And I showed him that I'm gonna do it. And I don't go to church that often, but I do pay my tithes and I do help my sisters out. They need anything regarding their business. They need somebody to talk to them to say, "Listen, fuck that nigga. Get on your shit. Listen." What, what can you do? What you know how to do? You know how to do hair? What you know how to do? Let's do it. Let's put it together. Let's get this money. So you don't have to be working for the, for somebody else who did chase their dreams. Because that's how it go. Either you chase your dreams or you work from somebody else who did. No, that's bad. That's, that's, how, that's, that's the only way in life. That's how it go. Or you don't work at all. Yeah. But listen, I want to see everybody come up. So I don't really go to church like that, but I pay my tithes with supporting everybody. And I love women, I love helping y'all, and I love just, I'm very generous, so I love people that bring something to the table. I don't even ask for nothing, but I love support. I love somebody who God could, I could talk to, so. That's what I have to say. Good coochie suki in the building. Yo. I'm just so happy that y'all had me, cause listen. Girl, you finna turn us up, cause that was something I, else, Yeah, like. but you had <laughs> asked all these classy questions. I'm gonna have to come back in. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back in. You feel me? I got a lot that I'm finna do this year. A lot of things that I'm very much proud of. And I know we gonna have another interview after I handle those things. So off the porch, me and my bitches been off the porch. We've been getting that money. Been Especially right this one back here. We've been getting that money. We've been off the porch. Since we, since we was young girls, we've been off the porch. These bitches still ain't, ain't off the porch. They can't fuck with us, can they? They can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Period. Oh they can't God. fuck with us. We really out here. That'd be the problem. Baby girl, get on your hustle. Stop her hating on the next woman. Stop hating on the next nigga. Get on your grind and get your money. That's it. Period. No one's gonna love you the way I